What's up you guys? Welcome back to another vlog. It is Wednesday. It's actually pretty late in the day. The sun's about to set. I think it's like 4 o'clock. It's 4.20. Okay. Yeah, I meant to start this vlog a lot earlier, but it's honestly been kind of like a weird day. And I also just feel like the day's kind of flown by, so... I'm kicking it off now. I just got back from a casting and I had to go get some wrapping paper and things like that. I ordered a bunch of gifts for my agency, but um, yesterday was actually the last time that I'm gonna see them in person until the new year. And so I'm just gonna have to give them to them in the new year, but um, I figured that I would just start packing them up. Anyway, I got these cute little gift bags from Target. And I'm just gonna put them in there. I've also got some <laughs> wrapping paper for other gifts. I'm going to a white elephant party tonight. And um, yeah, I think I'm just gonna get all this done and then I don't have to worry about it the rest of the week. If you guys are looking for a good white elephant gift that's like under $30, I have been giving out some of these this year. These are the five minute journals. I know these are pretty popular and I'm sure a lot of you guys have heard about them, but they're so cute. And I just feel like they're a nice gift that's not super expensive and I feel like people will actually do something with. It's just one of those little journals, I can't even show you, um, that has prompts and like little messages every day. Um, and so this is what I'm gonna be bringing to the party tonight. So I'm gonna wrap that up. My family and I are doing something different this year for Christmas. One, because um, we're doing two separate Christmases. Uh, one with my dad and one with my mom, but also because all of my siblings pretty much have a significant other. I'm gonna sit on my legs. Um, and so because there's so many people, we figured it would be more fun to do kind of a secret Santa. So that's what we're doing with my mom. The only thing we're changing is instead of having one person as your secret Santa, we're gonna be picking two names. So everyone's buying two gifts um, and then everyone's also buying a gift for their significant other and then my brothers and I are giving my mom a present as well. So that's kind of our plan as a family. It's nice because as you get older, I feel like gifts don't matter as much and it's more about just being together and spending time and um, yeah, I feel like Secret Santa or White Elephant is just still really fun and everyone still leaves with something, but it's like less of a financial burden for everyone. So um, if you guys are interested, there's actually an online Secret Santa generator. I think there's a couple actually, um, but that's kind of how we did it this year is everybody got a link to it and was able to pick their names online. So it's really fun and easy to do. So yeah, that's kind of what's been going on. I um, I did kind of want to touch on something just because it's been on my mind all day and I feel like I couldn't vlog earlier because I was just thinking about it so much and I feel like I'm going to get emotional again but um, I don't know. I just feel like it's important to talk about these things during the holidays and just like unpack it a little bit. I'm sure a lot of you guys know who this person is but this morning I opened my phone and I saw on Instagram that Twitch had passed away yesterday. Um, if you don't know who he is, he like you can just Google him. He's been around for years. I I grew up watching him on So You Think You Can Dance, and that's kind of where he gained prominence and how he eventually ended up being a DJ on Ellen. And him and his wife have a business. And during COVID, they just had the most joyful and fun dancing videos together and from what i know today he took his own life and it's just like it's weird because obviously i didn't know him personally and i didn't know his family or anything but i think when you know of someone for such a long time and you admire them so much i feel like i really admired him as a person and just their family and they were just so much fun to watch you know it just hits a little bit harder and also just the reason behind it like knowing that he was having a hard time and yeah I don't know it's just really hard and I don't know it just makes me think about how grateful I am for my mental health and my stability and happiness and um, yeah it's, it's just a good reminder to you know be nice to people especially during the holidays and um, yeah 
you you never you never you just never know what someone's going through like you really have no idea oh. anyway i couldn't start the vlog without bringing that up because honestly it's been weighing on my mind a lot today and i feel like he left a really big mark on me as a person and also just so many people in the world and it's really left me a little shocked to be honest but i'm gonna get into packing some of these gifts i did just realize all the stuff for my agents is downstairs so um, i'm probably gonna have to get that later but i am gonna wrap this little journal for tonight so let's get started Actually, not morning, I don't think. 11.58. <laughs> um, I am getting ready to head out and run some errands. I spent the morning doing some tax-related things, which I know it's not tax season or anything like that, but that's something that I do every year, which I can go into a little bit more when we get back. But um, I love to do most of my like tax-related expenses, YouTube stuff, um, all before the Christmas holiday. I feel like it just prepares me so well for when tax season does come around. Um, and so that's kind of what I've been doing this morning, just going through my receipts and my statements and things like that. But I'll get into that a little bit more later in case um, anyone's interested or anyone's kind of in the same boat as me. I, I know that I've touched on this before, but it took me so long to figure out what I actually needed to do in terms of taxes as a model, um, as a foreign person in the US, and also as someone who's self-employed, because models technically aren't employed by the agency. We're um, private contractors. So it just makes things a little bit more complicated. But um, I'm gonna go to Whole Foods because I wanna get some ingredients for a dessert that I'm gonna make this weekend. We're going to a friend's dinner party on Sunday and the boys are taking care of food and I volunteered to bring a dessert. So I'm actually gonna make my mom's apple pie, which if some of you guys were following me during 2020, um, I did Vlogmas that year and one of the videos was me baking apple pie with my mom over FaceTime. I'll link it down below if you guys wanna watch it. It's a really cute video. But um, I'm gonna make that same pie on Saturday. So I'm just gonna get some ingredients for that and maybe I'll vlog it actually. Could be fun. And then I'm also gonna go to either Target or Bed Bath & Beyond and just get some mixing bowls because I don't really have a lot of bowls for baking and just, um, I feel like I just need to add those to my kitchen utensil stuff. <laughs> also, recently put up these coat hooks by the front door. Um, you don't really realize these things until the seasons change, how you don't have certain things, like even a shoe rack. I was kind of just leaving my shoes by the front door, but now with sneakers and boots and things like that, things can get a little messy. So I ordered a shoe rack, which should be here either right before Christmas or when we get back. Um, and also put up these two hooks by the front door. These are actually sticking to the wall, so they're not drilled. There's no holes or anything, which is something that I like to avoid if possible because Sometimes luxury buildings can be difficult with that and you have to fill them up and if you don't fill them up correctly then they charge you for it and so um, this was a nice alternative. They're the command hooks, you can get them at Amazon or Target. I got mine at Target the other day. Yeah, it's been really nice so far. I think they hold like four or five pounds each. It's a nice little solution for anybody who doesn't want to have a coat rack or drill holes into the wall. back home and I feel like I did pretty good for my shopping I just got some basic groceries from Whole Foods and then I also got the ingredients for the apple pie which I'll share with you on Saturday when I make it um, then actually before all that I went to Sephora and I got two things 
The first is, hang on, I got some pimple patches because I, I mean, I don't get pimples very often, but sometimes I do get them. And I find that when I get them, I pick at them a lot, or I at least want to like pop them. Um, and so I want to change that habit because I don't like it. And I feel like it's just like at the end of the day, it's not good for you. So I got these pimple patches. My mom actually uses these and um, Sephora sells them. So I got those. And then I also, I stopped using regular dry shampoo after all of the info about the benzene came out. Um, if you guys haven't heard it, I'll try and link an article about the dry shampoos that were recalled and why. Um, there's cancer causing ingredients in the spray canisters of the dry shampoo. And I would love to live a long life. So <laughs> I'm changing my products. I'm actually gonna try this Bumble and Mumble um, powder dry shampoo. It's actually dry shampoo style and volume all in one. And you basically use it as if you were using maybe like a like a cornstarch or a baby powder. It comes out of this really small hole on top and then you just put it in your scalp and you rub it in yourself. Um, and from what I can tell, these ingredients are a lot better than using the regular spray dye shampoo. So I'm gonna try this and see how it goes. It's definitely more expensive than getting a bottle of dry shampoo, but I think if you just use a little bit of it, it's gonna take you a while to finish the bottle so we'll see um and then after that i went to target because i actually had a gift card to target from the white elephant party from last night and um as i was telling you guys earlier i wanted to get some mixing bowls and i actually found this really nice pack of four and they come with these lids and they're glass which i think i told you guys a couple vlogs ago i was trying to switch all of my plastic containers to glass just because it's better for you um and so i'm really happy with this purchase i'm going to wash them right now so i can use them on saturday um one of my biggest intentions for next year is to really look into the products that i'm using every day um you know starting with the packaging for food and then looking at you know skincare products cleaning products there's so many things we use in our everyday lives that are just not good for our bodies and I'm learning about it so much. Um, a lot actually through my friends who are um, getting pregnant and having kids and it's really interesting to see, I mean it's kind of shocking and scary to be honest, but it's interesting to see how our everyday products affect our health and you know the longevity of our lives as well. So I'm going to show you guys as I go. Obviously it's not something that you can replace all at once. It's obviously also more expensive to buy glass versus plastic and to buy more natural hand soaps, dish soaps, laundry detergent, skincare, like all those things are expensive. And so um, it's something that's gonna have to happen over time. And I also think it's a privilege, of course, to be able to buy those kind of products, but it's something that I really wanna start um, getting more serious about. So anyway, that's all I got. Um, I'm going to take a little bit of a break because I'm feeling kind of tired, honestly. And then um, maybe in an hour or so, we'll continue with some of the stuff that I was doing this morning. day is slipping away for me. <laughs> I really wanted to touch on the tech stuff that I was talking about earlier this morning, so I'm gonna do a quick roundup, and then I think I'm gonna do maybe a full video on some of the tips that I have related to doing taxes and kind of like my experience in the US. I'm not an expert, but I feel like I've been here long enough to know what's good, what's not, 
what helps, what doesn't. Um, and so basically this morning, I was doing my expenses for the year. Um, and this is really important as a model is to keep track of things that you can write off because tax write-offs are essentially what helps you save money um, and helps you pay less taxes in the end. It's pretty logical. Um, but if you don't know these things, then you could be paying more money than you actually need to. Some examples of model expenses are transportation to and from work, um, certain clothes, there's certain hair and beauty related expenses you can write off, there's business meals, um, accounting fees you can write off, like if you have an accountant, which I highly, highly, highly recommend. It's one of the best things you can do. I personally think as a model, when it comes to investing in yourself and in your career is getting a good accountant because even though accountants can be expensive, it's just one of those things that gives you peace of mind. And especially I think when you're a foreign person working in the US, having someone who understands your industry, understands how to file your taxes, um, and can help you, can help set you up for success is just priceless. Yeah, those are just some of the expenses you can write off. Your accountant will know more um, or will be able to tell you more. I will usually keep track of this throughout the year and so I try and do this like every quarter but sometimes I don't get to it and then I end up having to do it at the end of the year, which is obviously more work. My accountant provides me a little spreadsheet with all the categories of things that I can write off and then I just total them up and he will look at that and gauge what is doable and what's not essentially. Other things that I like to do throughout the year, and this kind of depends on your situation because I only started doing this maybe three or four years ago. Actually, when I switched to my current account and I started doing this. Um, but when you are a foreign person working in the US, if you're in the US less than 180 days a year, the agency is required to withhold your taxes. And so when you get paid, you essentially are deducted the agency fee and then also deducted 30% taxes. And then when you file your taxes, you get a return based off how much money you made, your expenses, um, and then they pay you back from the 30% that they are withholding all year round. And so for years I was getting like a pretty good chunk of money in March or April. And then during quarantine actually, I filed my taxes and because of all the delays and also actually the lady who was filing my taxes at the time had made an error. I didn't see that money for like 14 or 15 months. And so when you're in a pandemic and you're not making money, that, that money is a big deal. And so um, that's when I started talking to my agency and looking into that a little bit more. And I realized that if I was gonna be here most of the year, I didn't actually need to be, sorry, my agency actually didn't need to be withholding my taxes. And so we, actually changed all of that up. I told them that instead of having them withhold it, I would take care of it myself. And so ever since then, I've been responsible for keeping my own tax money aside throughout the year. Um, and then I actually pay quarterly um, or quarterly estimates, but yeah. So that's something that I'm very mindful about is to always take that tax money out of my paycheck, put it in an account, pretend that it doesn't exist. Um, and then, you know, I pay it when it's time. I actually always try and save a little bit more because you never know what the actual tax amount is gonna be. Quarterly payments are also really helpful. I honestly didn't do that up until a few years ago and it just makes that final annual number a lot less daunting. Um, and so if you can do that with your accountant or whoever you file your taxes with, that is kind of a game changer, honestly. And then you start getting into a little bit more complex things like opening a corporation and all that stuff. So um, I'm not gonna get into that in this video because it'll take forever, but super important to be on top of your finances as a model. It's something that I talk about a lot in my book actually, which is here. If you guys haven't purchase my book, you definitely should. Um, there's a whole chapter on finances and things you can do to set yourself up 
for success. The chapter is called Money Honey. I'm giving you a sneak peek. So yeah, if you guys want me to dive a little bit deeper into that, I would love to make a video in the new year, probably in January, February, a little bit closer to the actual tax time. Um, but those are just a few little tidbits that I think everybody should know. Good morning, it's Saturday. Oh, um, I'm getting ready to head out because I have a hair appointment this morning. I'm getting my color done before the holidays. Um, and then later today we're gonna make the apple pie together. So it's gonna be a fun one. I, um, <laughs> this is gonna sound really stupid, but my boyfriend and I have this thing where we, I don't know, it all started with me, honestly, where I started putting like little googly eye stickers on his stuff. And every time he would come here, there would just be googly eyes on different things. And then, um, before we got the tree, a couple days before the tree, I thought it would be funny to get like a mini elf on the shelf and do that instead because it's just like festive. And so I bought a mini elf on the shelf and I left it in the bathroom like on his hair gel or something. And he like found it, it was funny. And then we ended up putting, like just having him in the tree once we got our Christmas tree. And so last night I came home after work and he sent me a text saying that the elf was gone out of the tree and that he'd hidden it somewhere. And I honestly have been looking for this elf for the last 12 hours and I cannot find him anywhere. And so the last place that I can think of that he might be is in the mailbox. So I'm gonna go check the mailbox and see if he's there. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. you guys, there he is, inside my coffee mug. Okay, I'll give you guys a better look at my hair now that I'm home. I'm so happy with it. She did exactly what I wanted. Just wanted to like freshen up my hair and brighten it a little bit. I just felt like it was looking a little dull. Maybe it's because I'm so pale right now <laughs> from the weather, but um, super happy with my color. I. I'm gonna get started on this pie, which I'm actually very excited to make. Um, I have all the ingredients, and all I really need to do is just clean up the kitchen really quickly, and then I'm gonna set you guys up and get started. Just cleaning up the dish that I'm gonna use. I kinda need to refresh myself on this a little bit because it's been a while. I haven't made this pie since we did that video, so it's been a while. Um, I am gonna put this aside for now because I'm not, oh, I can't close this. Um, I'm gonna put this aside for now because I'm not gonna need it for a little bit. I'll just put it up here. What I do need is two bowls. One for the filling and one for the dough. I'm gonna start with the dough. I'm gonna put all the ingredients in the bowl. Oh shit, I should've taken out the butter. Sorry, I'm swearing. Okay, mistake number one, you're supposed to take out the butter like an hour before you start doing this. I only need a little bit more than two sticks. I'm just gonna work with what I have because I just need to get this done before it's dark out. But normally you wanna start by taking the butter out about an hour before so that it has time to soften. Anyway, I'm gonna start with the dough. I'm gonna put all the ingredients in the bowl. I'll let that sit for a second. It'll give time for the butter to warm up a little bit. Then I'm gonna get started on the filling. I'm gonna cut the apples last because I want them to refrain from browning as much as possible. I also have a lemon, um, which Oops, I will squeeze on a little bit just to keep it from browning. Then I'll go in and knead the dough, prepare it for the crust, and then I'll put the filling on top. So I also forgot another step. This is going really well. <laughs> in my version of the apple pie, I'm using raisins, and you're also supposed to let the raisins soak a little bit before you put them in. Um, you can do this while you're making the dough. It doesn't have to be done beforehand, um, but I forgot that I had to do that. So I'm gonna boil some water and then I'm gonna soak the raisins while I prepare the dough.
Okay, my battery died and I didn't hear it because I had music on. Um, but I just finished putting the filling together. This is about five apples, I want to say. Um, the recipe that I have for my mom is actually for a bigger pie dish. Um, so I'm going to adjust the recipe for the nine inch tin that I have. Um, but yeah, this is basically the apples, the raisins, which I ended up taking out of the bowl and putting on some paper towels so that the moisture could get out of the raisins. Um, what else? There's a dash of cinnamon, a couple dashes of cinnamon, a third of a cup of honey, and half of a lemon just squeezed over so that the apples don't brown as fast. Just finished making the crust. It, it, I mean, it looks homemade because it is. I also don't have a pin roller, so I kind of just placed it in there. This is also what my mom does and what we did in the other video. So now I'm gonna transfer the filling. You guys can probably see that there's some liquid forming at the bottom. I don't want any of that liquid inside of the pie because it's gonna be mushy and just gross. So I'm gonna use a spoon and transfer it without getting any liquid inside the crust. Just had the most frustrating experience trying to put the dough on top of the pie and eventually I just gave up and I just put it on top. I did this little flower detail in the middle and now I'm going to put it in the oven. Taking a quick break from the kitchen. I, um, I can't really do anything anyway for the next hour because it needs to bake. Basically what I was trying to do is I was attempting to lattice the pie. I'll insert a photo of what it looks like. But... Uh, because I don't have an actual rolling pin. I was using like a makeshift rolling pin. I was using like a smoothie cup Which was working at first and then it just felt like the layers were too thick and I just didn't feel confident in it. So I decided to scrap it after trying for 20 minutes and I just Made a regular top and so I just put it in the oven like that. I don't know if it's gonna look good I'm sure it's gonna taste good because I've made it before but um, yeah, when you make a pie for yourself, it doesn't really matter, but when you make it for other people, you want it to look nice and presentable. So we'll see. I'm sure a lot of you guys can relate to this, but I can get so frustrated in the kitchen when something's not going well, especially with baking. Cooking, I feel like, I maybe I just have more confidence in cooking because I do it pretty much every day, but baking, I don't do as much. And so when something goes wrong, or when I lose my confidence, I get very frustrated. And so that's kind of where I was at at the end of the lattice portion. I was like, okay, I really just need to get this pie in the oven and be done with it. So um, anyway, I'm going to start editing this video and then I will check in with you guys when the pie is done. ordered myself some digging, which I'm going to eat while I edit this vlog. Oh my god, this vlog is turning out to be 30 minutes. I somehow forgot that I'd vlogged so much earlier this week. I guess I just didn't really know what I'd even filmed, to be honest. I also think I have something in my teeth. Yeah, I do. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys the pie. I think I did pretty good. It obviously is not what I had hoped it would be, but I think for my baking skills, we're doing pretty okay. What do we think? Okay, with that said, I am gonna close off this vlog because it's been going on for far too long. And um, I'm gonna turn off the heat for a second actually because it's gonna be loud. I did wanna say that this is potentially gonna be my last vlog of the year. I know I said that I wanted to do a reflection slash Q&A video as my last one, but I don't know if I'm gonna have time to film that before I leave just in full transparency. Yeah, I don't know, I'm just feeling a little bit fried, honestly, and as excited as I am for the holidays, I know that it's gonna be a lot of social time. The holidays are gonna go by fast, and then I'll be back in New York, and I'm literally working again the 2nd of January, and so I also want to give myself a few days of actual rest and enjoyment um, before 
the work starts again in January. Yeah, I know I don't need to explain that, but I do want to just let you guys know what my plans are. Um, if you don't see me next weekend, you'll see me again the, I guess technically the second weekend of January. I'm going to be vlogging that whole week. It's going to be a really busy work week and you guys will see that the Sunday after. Before I do end this, I want to say thank you guys so much for all the love and support throughout this past year. It's been so special. Um, I feel like it's just been another really great year and I'm so lucky to have all of you guys following along and supporting. Um, you really bring another level of happiness and inspiration into my life. So thank you so much. I wish you guys the best over the holidays. I'm thinking of all of you. Let me know down in the comments what you guys are doing for the holidays. If you're traveling, if you're seeing family, if you're not, um, maybe, you know, let me know what one of your intentions is for the new year. I would love to hear that. Give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. You guys know the drill. Um, and I'll see you in the next one. Mwah.